Hi there. Uh, I just want to take a few minutes to talk about what we're going through here in today's economy. Uh, there's a lot of uh, things happening around uh, that with this whole pandemic and it's really going to affect the economy. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to see uh, real estate uh, is really going to take a hit. Uh, the reason being that uh, sales are going to be down. Uh, people, uh, prices of real estate is going to drop considerably. Uh, people that have lost their jobs are going to be uh, not able to purchase house or purchase houses or worse yet, uh, they're going to have to sell their homes. And unfortunately, uh, there's a big opportunity for you as an investor as long as you have capital uh, to invest or at whether or where you have people that you can leverage to provide capital to invest. And what what that what I mean is, you know, with any crisis, there's an opportunity. You're going to be able to pick up properties at quite a bit below value from motivated sellers. And I don't want this to be, I don't want you to think of this as a uh, preying on the unfortunate. What you're, gonna try, what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna help people uh, out of a bad situation. So you're gonna go in, you're gonna look at the properties, you're gonna give them what you think a fair uh, market value is for the property based on the, on the market, the prices that are, are, uh, are being offered at that time. And you're gonna help that person avoid uh, other uh, more critical situations like claiming bankruptcy or going into foreclosure or, you know, uh, any kind of financial aid that they may need to take to be able to uh, avoid losing their home. This way here, you can go in and help them. Yeah, uh, one of the things that's uh, uh, you're going to be able to implement too, this, this is going to be the resurgence of creative financing, I think. Uh, certainly mortgages uh, are going to be... Uh, Mortgage companies are going to be very active because people are going to be looking at refinancing their house. They're going to be looking at uh, pulling equity out, trying to stay alive until, you know, they can get themselves back in order if they haven't been working for a while. Uh, there's going to, you know, and uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of a lot of refinancing, a lot of sales, a lot of purchases. So I think the whole mortgage industry is going to go crazy. I think the real estate industry is going to go crazy as well. Uh, this is this is an unfortunate time for those people and a fortunate or not a fortunate but a, an opportunity here as an investor to to be able to step in and, and pick up some good deals from properties and uh, so I think uh, get ready for uh, for this to start happening probably in the next three to six months I think is when you want to start buying homes uh, I, th I think after about another six, nine, 12 months, you'll see the, the economy start uh, uh, recovering. This is assuming that, of course, that everything's back to normal, where we can start going to work and start, uh, you know, functioning in a normal environment again within the next two months. And then, you know, the economy is probably going to take another six months after that to recover. So just something to think about if you're an investor and uh, if you're not holding any properties or if you have the opportunity to get more involved in real estate investing. Thanks.